Welcome back. In the previous video, we looked at proving triangle similar. In today's video, we're going to extend beyond proving triangle similar and go past that and talk about proportions and multiplying out those proportions. Uh, this is kind of the CPCTC of similar triangles. Remember when we prove triangles congruent, once we finish that, then we extend it on to proving the corresponding parts are congruent. Well, we're going to do something similar here with similar triangles. We're going to extend just beyond proving the triangle similar. And then we'll also uh, do a sample problem of uh, the type of, uh, you know, proportions that you're going to see and kind of work out problems as well. So let's take a look at... Uh, a two column proof here. We are given that BD is parallel to CE. So we're going to put that in our proof that BD is parallel to CE. And what we want to do is we want to prove that AB times CE is equal to AC times BD. What we're going to do is we're going to prove this top triangle similar to the whole entire big triangle. And once we do that, we'll be able to extend and talk about proportions in our similar triangles. So we can prove Angle ABD is congruent to angle ACE because those parallel lines imply the corresponding angles congruent. Now, both of the triangles include angle A, so we could use angle A as congruent to angle A by reflexive, or we could also prove the other side corresponding angles congruent as well. Why don't I just do the angle A congruent to angle A by reflexive. And then my two triangles are similar by angle angle. So I've got triangle ABD is similar to triangle ACE by angle angle similarity and steps two and three. Well, since we know that the corresponding sides must be proportional, we know AB is going to match up with AC and we know that BD is going to match up with C. So we can say that AB is, right, my left hand top is to the entire left side. AB is to AC as BD, okay, the left side of the small. The top triangle is to the bottom of the top triangle, as BD is to CE. And the reason there is corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. There's no real shortcut for that. Have to memorize that, but we knew this already. Corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. And then, well, don't we know if we have a proportion, we can multiply it out. We can multiply the means and extremes, which then gives us, right, multiply across, AB times CE has to equal AC times BD. We're simply multiplying across. And if we're paying attention, 
if we know this is our final step, we should know if we multiply out that these do have to be across from each other. Two of these are going to be our means and two of these are going to be our extremes. So we can kind of work backwards if we know what the final step is. If we have AB times CE, we know those are going to be kitty corner from each other and AC times BD are going to be kitty corner from each other. So two of those will be our means and two of those will be our extremes. And our final reason then for multiplying out a proportion as we saw earlier is the means and extremes product here. That's what allows us to multiply out a proportion. So that's our final answer. So there we go. The CPCTC of similar triangles and then means and extremes product theorem allows us to multiply out a proportion. So steps five and step six, those are really the new things here in this video. Let's move down to another sample problem that we'll see covers the same type of material. We're talking about proportions here in similar triangles, but this is a workout problem instead of a, a proof, more of a find. So while she was out for a walk last weekend, Judy noticed that a 20 meter flagpole cast a 25 meter shadow. So our flagpole, our height of our flagpole here is 20. And it cast a 25 meter shadow. Now, be careful, shadows are going to be found on the ground. So the shadow of the flagpole created by the sun is 25 meters. Okay. And what we're going to have here is we automatically have similar triangles because the angle of the sun and we're going to assume that a flagpole and a telephone pole are going to be at right angles. So these triangles we're working with are going to be similar. But she noticed that the telephone pole cast a 30 meter sh shadow. Judy must have a pretty keen eye. She can look and measure these things exactly. Very impressive. But she wants to find out the height of the telephone pole, or X. So really we have, you know, we're going to have a couple ratios, or we're going to have a proportion. we got our telephone pole, and we have our flag pole. And really we've got the height is to the shadow as, and then on the flagpole side, if we're going to be consistent, we have that the height of the flagpole is to its shadow. So for the telephone pole's height to the telephone pole shadow is to the flagpole's height to the flagpole's shadow. So X is to 30 as 20 is to 25. Okay, so in your haste, you may want to multiply the means and extremes right away, but to make our arithmetic a little bit easier, don't we know that 20 is 4 times 5 and 25 is 5 times 5? So we can simplify our fraction to 4 over 5. So 4 over 5 is as x is to 30. We multiply the means and extremes we get 5x equals 120, and x is equal to 24. So then we know that the telephone pole is 24 meters high. And working with proportions, this totally makes sense. Uh, our answer is makes sense. Our denominators, if I multiplied the 5 times 6, that would get us to 30. Well, if I multiply the denominator by 6, it's the same as multiplying the numerator by 6. So x has to be 6 times greater than the 4, or 6 times the 4, so it's 24. So that also makes sense. We multiply our numerator and denominator by the same thing. So 
a couple ways to do that. One is kind of the instinctual way here, knowing proportions. The other one is, of course, the very solid algebraic way, multiplying the means and extremes. 5x equals 4 times 30, and then solving for x and getting our answer of 24. So a couple kind of problem that uh, you will see in this particular chapter. Nice example of how you show your work. Um, a really good proof, something you will also be seeing and be challenged with. And we'll work more on this when I see you in class.